Apostolic Christian Assembly, Perubu Ministries, today welcomes you for our morning devotional program. God bless you as you prayerfully listen to this brief devotion. Greetings to you this morning. In the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As a child of God, it's important how we live our lives on this earth because that determines where we will spend our life for eternity. We need to remember that we are not like the people of the world, but we are totally different people. This world is not our home, but we are a heaven-born people. The enemy brings before us the world and its pleasures, and we get drawn towards it, and we miss out on the purpose of God in our life. But we need to remember this morning that we have a purpose in our life, and that is to be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For our devotion this morning, let's read Ephesians chapter 5. Reading verses 15 and 16. I am reading it from the New Living Translation. Be careful of your live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise, make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Apostle Paul counseled each one of us this morning to be careful how we live our lives in this world. We are to live our lives as one who is wise rather than being unwise. When we live our life this way and view things as God would see them, and act accordingly, our lives will be a blessed life. I want you to notice that one phrase, make the most of every opportunity. It's such a positive outlook. You will see many opportunities to live for Christ, many opportunities to serve Him. We need to make the best of every opportunity that comes across our path. We are called to live like Christ in this world. How did Jesus live His life? He was holy and blameless. No man could ever find fault with Him. Think of the words of Pilate that he spoke of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Luke's Gospel, chapter 23, reading verse 4, Then Pilate said to the chief priests and to the people, I find no fault in this man. What a life of testimony. What a life to be lived in this world. This is the way that God expects each one of us to live our life in this world of sin and immoral living. We need to stand out as Christians. People have lost the real value of life. The rush of life has robbed people of realizing the true values of life. To many people, they think getting a good job, a good salary, is what they need in life. But they fail to realize that these things are temporary. And they come to a point of life when they realize all these things have no value to them. Because their lives are caught up in the ways of the world and care less to live a life according to God's ways and standards. In Christendom, people give less importance to the spiritual things of life, but they desire the physical things of life. They live their life to please the desires of the flesh, rather than being led by the Spirit of God. To many Christians, the main aim in life is to see how much money and wealth they can accumulate without realizing that one day they have to leave everything and go away. But they care less for their souls. We need to ask ourselves a question this morning. Am I living my life with eternity in view or living my life for this world which is temporary? Someone observed that life is like a dollar bill. You can spend it any way you want to, but you can spend it only once. So God expects us this morning to live our life in such a way that our lives will impact the people with whom we associate with. The Bible tells us not to be careless with our life. Be careful. That means you should be intentional and deliberate how you live your life. To the world has no enduring standards. Every man does what is right in his own eyes. A multitude of standards abound in the 20th century. Society has abandoned the one true standard of truth, which is the Word of God. We need to live our lives in accordance to God's word. The Bible says, There's a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. The Christian stand of living is the word of God. God has given us his word, and when we live our life in accordance to God's word, our life will be safe and secured. A true disciple of Jesus Christ is the one who continues to obey the truth given to him. Undisciplined lives reveal rebellion in them. Any rebellion should be repented of and given up in order to be a true disciple of Jesus. God and the world do not have the same perspective on how to live life. Once we have the right standard, God's standards, then saying no to ourselves is of utmost importance. If we want to put on the image of God and remove the image of this world, we must make choices. Sometimes they are difficult because of the sacrifice involved in them. These choices will show whether we are ever God and His purpose in this world. What happens to the sense of sin when God's standards seem no longer to be valid? For an answer, we need to look at our global society, its violence, sexual immorality, greed, stealing, and the list goes on. This is why the right standard of living can come from the one who is perfect, 
and that is our Creator, our Lord Jesus Christ. Think of the life of Samson. He failed to live his life for consecration and he paid a very heavy price for it. He lost his purpose. He lost his life. God this morning wants us to be careful in how we live our lives. Take our spiritual life very seriously. God has a great and glorious purpose in our life. And that purpose can be fulfilled only when we live our life in accordance to God's word. The greatest tragedy in the life of anyone when he loses God's presence and purpose in his life. We need to know if our lives are to be blessed physically and spiritually. It is only possible only when we have the Lord God with us. If we lose God's presence, then we will lose the purpose and the plan of God. Determined to live your life in the way that God desires us to live. Your life will be blessed and God will be glorified. May God bless you. May God be with you. Amen.